Bleach Report on the road here in one of the greatest cities in the world, the city of Cleveland, where the NFL Draft is always interesting, but even more so here tonight because the draft is actually right here in town. So fans from all over the country are here to take in the festivities, and it's the one time of year where a Browns fan and a Steelers fan can come together and really enjoy themselves together as one. Travis, what are you looking forward to tonight? Well, it's, it's going to be different for you guys. You're picking behind us for once. Not You're used to this. We're 24, so we got a ways to go, but that's, that's awesome because we get to be surprised at who goes from 1 to pretty much 20. We know the first two picks probably going to be, you know, the quarterback from BYU, and number one is Lawrence to, right, right, you know, right, right. to Urban Meyer squad. But after that, you never know. Is there a trade for Aaron Rodgers to where at? Green Bay goes up in the mix. Do other teams trade up to get quarterbacks? Where's Justin Fields go? It's the NFL draft. Anything can happen. Always a crap shoot. Always a lot of storylines. And there's a lot of people out here at the Rock the Clock festivities. So we're going to go hit the boardwalk, find out who people want their favorite team to take. Let's roll. So the NFL Draft is one of the only times where we can all kind of coexist as NFL fans. How does a Giants fan and a Cowboy fan make it work? Well, we're married, and she's my better half. So if I got to watch uh, the Cowboys score a touchdown on my team, so be it. All right, Washington football team fan, although you're a fan of the NFL, what are you looking forward to tonight in the draft? I'm looking forward to filling some spots in. Hopefully uh, quarterback because Alex Smith, uh, uh, he got cut. And then they picked up Fitzpatrick, but uh, he's not long term. So hopefully Trey Lance would be a great fit for the uh, Washington football team and see what goes from there. I haven't looked at any mock drafts. I've just kind of been riding it out. You know, we're built, we're going in the right direction, but what will be tough this year is we have a first place team schedule. So uh, we didn't have that last year. And I don't think we're going to be able to go 7-9 again in uh, the playoffs. So we'll see what happens, but we're building in the right direction. So we'll see what happens. So first off, my condolences for Drew Brees retiring. So obviously you got a big uh, void to fill there. I know that you got some uh, help coming over. But ultimately in the draft, who do you like for your team tonight? I'm thinking we're looking a little slim in DBs, so I'm wanting Asante Samuel. That would be a great pick, of course. You think he's going to be available on the board still, though? I think he'll be there for us. You, you agree we got to trade back? Uh, yeah, I tend to agree with that, sure. Yeah, I like trading back, collecting some assets. I'm cool with that. Yeah, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. Okay. Pra praise be. Praise be. Good luck. And f*** Roger Goodell. <laughs> All right. Always. I am now joined by John Lynch, the GM of the 49ers. I don't know why he's wearing a Dolphins jersey, but first, who are you guys are you guys taking number three? Are you going to trade and get Aaron Rodgers? What's the deal with the 49ers? And I don't want to put my cards out there. I don't want to put my cards out there. It's a great night. I can't tell you what's going to happen. It's going to be fun. 49er fans are going to be excited tonight. That's all, that's all they need to know. 49ers are going to be excited tonight. All right, so we got a trio of 49ers fans here. They're selecting near the top of the draft, which always is fun. Browns fans know a lot about that. Uh, what player excites you most? I want Fields, Justin Fields. What about you? Either Fields or Trey Lance. Fields, but no matter. We Niner faithful, baby. And no matter what it is. All right, so, so you guys got a little bit of that Browns and you. Okay. Uh, well, what about the rumors floating around that you guys almost had Aaron Rodgers today? Would that have been nice, I bet? Try not to get my hopes up. <laughs> that would have been nice, yeah. That would have been nice. Would you rather have the rookie or Rodgers? Rodgers, I think, yeah. That's immediate wins. Rodgers immediate wins. He's proven. He's proven. Big time number nine is gone now for good. Oh, what are you thinking about the immediate future? I mean, I'm hearing uh, rumors about Aaron Rodgers, so. Oh, lots of rumors there. To bring him in. But I really believe Aaron Rodgers coming to Denver. Oh, really? You got some insights? Something you can break right here? Yeah, something we can break right now. Aaron Rodgers to Denver uh, for a first round pick next year and a third round pick this year. You that heard seem, it first. That seems pretty cheap, but I, but I like it for Broncos fans, man. I hope it works out for you. So there's a lot of trades about to go on. I heard something about the Browns might have, you know, trade up. Um, there's just a lot of things might go on. That Aaron Rodgers thing, that's huge, though. It's a blockbuster thing, so we'll see what happens. It's going to probably mix up the whole the whole draft. So Makes it even better that you're in person to watch it, right? Oh, this is awesome, dude. Cleveland, Ohio, this is awesome. You know, the city of rock. Rock and roll, baby. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all about to be on the clock. It pretty much it seems like it's a foregone conclusion. You're gonna get Trevor Lawrence. How do you guys all feel about that pick? I feel great. I mean, we knew it already, but we had to come see the moment, so we had to do it. How cool is it gonna be to see him selected right here in Cleveland? At, hey, it's gonna feel great. It's a moment in history. You know, we just wanted to be a part of history, so that's so why we're here. And you gonna lead you guys to the promised land? Are you a believer in Trevor or what? I am, man. 
Uh, I went to college at Alabama. After watching what he did to my team, just beating the crap out of us, uh, I, was, I knew right away he was going to be playing in the league. Now that I know he's going to be playing for my professional team, it's, uh, it's surreal. And I knew I had to come all the way to Cleveland just to watch it happen. Oh, the happiest place on earth, Cleveland, Ohio. Represent the right team at least. That a boy, Mick. The Philadelphia Eagles select Devontae Smith, wide receiver, Alabama. My Chicago Bears select Justin Fields, quarterback, Ohio State. Selected Gregory Newsom the second out of Northwestern, a Big Ten guy. It's getting a lot of cheers here in the city of Cleveland as the hometown Browns now have their first round pick. Six feet tall, 192, an efficient mover with some ball skills. He's got durability concerns, but we don't worry about all that. We just worry about getting to the promised land. I like the pick. Seems like they do too. So that is going to wrap up our NFL round one draft day coverage here in the city of Cleveland. Uh, what an exciting event, Travis. Uh, it was really cool out here, even though we didn't get into the actual venue. The party was still going on right here outside. It was a good time. And despite the weather, the rain, a lot of people were out here. Surprising first round. A couple quarterbacks dropped late. The Bears traded up to get Justin Fields. Really good quarterback, so they got something there. And then, you know, got a couple. New England didn't even have to trade to get Mac Jones. So they got their guy without even giving up picks. Big for them and then our teams, we got the guys we wanted so far. Now it's just what can they build on the next rounds to get those players that can fill in. But you know, a very successful day in Cleveland's, this was this was great. I know, like you said, we weren't in there, but it's pretty much the same atmosphere down there than it is up here. We're just not close to the national television cameras, that's all. But this has been fun and Hope we get to do something like this again. That's right, and this was just day one, so if you're up here in the Ohio area and you can make it up to the lake, come on out. Day two and three of draft going down right here in the city of Cleveland. But for tonight, we out of here. It's a little bit cold. Let's go warm up. Start making plans for that Super Bowl parade right back in this town.